Hi guys, I hope you're all okay. Today is my 20 week update and I cannot believe that today is my 20 week update. It doesn't even feel like it's been a few weeks since I found out I was pregnant, which is absolutely insane. But yeah, I'm here today with a little bit of news and also a uh, mum and baby haul. First of all, I really want to apologise for one, the lighting. It is completely far too bright however the light outside is absolutely awful and so I've got my studio lights on but they seem to be a little bit bright today my eyes are a bit like whoa um, and secondly the state of my hair I've just been for a blood test at the midwife's because they have messed it up for the third time which is absolutely horrific um, but I got caught in the rain which is probably worse. I mentioned in my last video that we had booked a private gender scan. A few people asked me where we go for our private scans and we actually go through a company called Baby Bond. I think it was through Ultrasound Direct but I will double check that and I'll leave it in the information bar. Um, but yeah, I did mention that we would be finding out the sex of our baby and we did and I'm so happy. I'm literally, I'm over the moon, bursting with joy. I couldn't think of myself with the other gender now although that's what I originally had always imagined myself to have um, but yeah so 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 excited we found out last Saturday and I cannot believe that I've kept it a secret on my social media channels for so long because I've typed out so many tweets and then thought no that gives it away but I wanted it to be a big old surprise and which is probably really ridiculous but here we have the little face of our baby we have a little eye here and a little nose and a mouth and a massive forehead like it's mum and if you haven't guessed already or if I haven't already given it away somewhere and not realised we are actually having a little boy and I'm over the moon for the minute we found out that I was pregnant I, I have told everyone I'm having a boy it's 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 a boy and not one moment did I think any different I was always absolutely adamant that we was going to have a little boy and yeah I'm so excited I'm I'm so happy honestly I can't even I'm so happy to be honest with you I think it's probably the best for me um I told my boyfriend that I'm gonna have to compensate in makeup and more clothes for myself just to make up for the fact that it's gonna be me and two boys but I'm so excited and I yay so excited now I just can't wait for him to be here so I can dress him up like a cool little dude and I don't know just I don't know anything about little boys but I guess who does when they've not had any so of course finding out the gender of our little boy meant that we could go shopping finally for things other than white baby grows and really plain things and I've branched into quite a bit of colour which is absolutely fantastic for me because nobody thought they would see me buying anything blue or patterned or anything like that. I have got quite a bit to get through here so I'm not going to go through too much detail of the clothes however I will leave them all as many as I can anyway in the information box. So some of the stuff that we have here has been gifted to us by lovely family and friends that since finding out that we had a boy and I am absolutely in love with it all. So the first thing we have is these cute little hats. We have them in blue as well. Which are really, really cute. Short sleeve baby grows which are stars and stripes. You're definitely going to see a theme running with these bits. We have another pack of similar which are stars, little vespers and minis which are cute and very appropriate for me. We have this pack of short sleeved uh, bodysuits which are just absolutely adorable. Look how cute and small they are. I have a super cute pair of red chinos, they were from Zara and I bought them in mind of this t-shirt which is from Next and it is just the most amazing little t-shirt for a little baby boy. 
I have this three pack of sleep suits which are stripes, a little car and stripes. They were from Boots I believe and although I've lightened up a lot on the whole colour pattern thing I'm still not so keen on things like this um, but it is a sleep suit and it's, it's only to sleep in so I can't be too ridiculous. I picked up these little scratch mitts which are just adorable. Up until now I've been buying um, plain white socks which are absolutely amazing but I'm very aware that they're going to get dirty and grubby and babies kick them off anyway. So we have some colourful ones here, some blue stripes. Can you see the stripey theme going on? We have these little leggings slash tracksuit bottom trousers. They are so cute and soft. I actually want them for my size. Have these little white, um, they're kind of like velour tracksuit bottoms but for babies. Um, they're so cute and tiny. And actually they come in a two pack with um, the grey. I have this super super cute pair of stripy bottoms and they were from Baby Gap. The same as the dark blue but in light blue and grey and um, bottoms from boots. Our baby's going to be born in July so it's going to be quite warm so I kind of bear that in mind when picking things up. It's easy just to go crazy and buy a whole bunch of stuff but babies grow so so quickly anyway. So we have this cute little polo um, top which is long sleeved, very simple but I thought that's quite a smart little piece to put with a pair of chinos or something. Therefore, age six to nine, so the baby will be a little bit older then, and it will need long sleeves anyway for the winter. We have this cute little t-shirt. This is boots, and it's just a perfect basic. We have this cute little bodysuit, long sleeved, little collar, and that was from H&M. I have another stripy blue t-shirt, long sleeved. I also have that in a smaller size in red, um, which is really, really cute. They're not too thick, um, so they'd be nice for the summer and then nice with a little vest for the winter. The day we found out that we were having a little boy, I immediately went shopping. We literally went shopping straight away, so we went from the ultrasound into the car shopping and then we went home to tell everyone um, I have my priorities right clearly um, we picked up this amazing little bodysuit and I'm just obsessed with it I think it was £12 it's quite tiny but I just think it's going to be perfect in the summer whoops I just got makeup on it this could be a problem um, so we picked up something similar but in t-shirt form I absolutely love this um, baby grow um, it's like a stripy all-in-one without feet I really love the green which is a massive surprise for me um, that was from Boots I have this really lovely um, all-in-one this is from Mother Care and it's stars and stripes which is just my theme completely this really cute 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 pair of um, they're like a thin denim type chino. They are from H&M and they are four to six months. One of my probably favourite things is actually two separates. But again, we picked this up the same day that we found out we was having a little boy. It's this little dungaree is that. Um, and this little polo shirt it's actually the same as the stripy one but just white and um, it's just a little bodysuit I just thought that's such a cute little outfit to like be in the pram and when it's having its picture taken which will be all the time three sleep suits long sleeved with feet stars and stripes some more muslin squares, um, which I just think are really nice. They did have blue, but I went for grey. Just stars, stripes, and plain. 
I've literally picked up so many muslin cloths because I know I'm going to go through them and I thought if I don't then I can cut them up and use them for my skincare routine. Oh, hey! Some little blue dummies. Sleep bag thing. It's pretty massive. It's for a bit of an older size and quite thick. So nice for like for ages. But that was from Baby Gap. And of course, being a little trolley dolly myself, it wasn't going to be too long until the baby had something aeroplane themed. And I came across this cute little um, sleep suit in Marks and Spencers with the cutest print. We have these cute little booties. They're more for the winter, I guess, but I couldn't resist them at the till in Gap. And I have these little ones too, which are so, so cute. And that is actually all the baby things that we have that we've picked up in the last week for our little boy. I have got some maternity bits here that I'm going to show you. I had a little bit of a moan on Twitter that all maternity clothes are quite frumpy and um, a bit old maybe. So for maternity clothes I found the best places to go are ASOS, Topshop and New Look. New Look very 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 kindly gifted me a few pieces to try out from their range and I absolutely love them. This top is actually from New Look and it is maternity and it's absolutely perfect. You often find that maternity clothes are all very similar and this is just something that I would buy anyway. It's very much me. It's long enough, it has nice sleeves, it has gold um, zip detailing on the back and it's just perfect. I'll leave all the links to these in the description bar and honestly if you are looking for maternity wear I can't recommend these pieces enough. I was sent this lovely dress um, which just has really pretty sleeves um, and a zip at the back. It's quite long but I guess as your bump gets bigger the dress probably gets a little bit shorter. This top here which again is really similar to what I'm wearing now. Um, it just has perfect little short sleeved and zip detail at the back. I was also sent that in black but it's in the wash because I have lived in it honestly. It's got me through so many fat days and I live in all black anyway and it's absolutely perfect so thank you so much New Look it is a dream. New Look also sent me a pair of maternity jeans which are also in the wash because I have been living in them they are perfect and I have the Topshop pair here which I'm going to show you in a minute but I actually prefer the New Look ones massively and um, they have a really high like bump band and when you have them on you can't tell they're maternity they're super skinny and yeah they're just perfect. I have this cute little cami here from New Look again which has cute flowers on it and it's really similar to everything I was wearing last summer with pairs of like little summer trousers and I think I'm gonna live in that when it gets a little bit warmer. These aren't gonna show up on camera very well but I have a two pack here of leggings. I haven't worn them yet but I'm going to because they feel so so soft and they're, they're kind of the perfect thickness as well. I picked up a pair of the Topshop Lees um, and they're actually really nice. I must admit I do prefer the new look ones which are half of the price but I do live in black skinny jeans so to have a couple of options I'm not going to complain. If you're going to buy these I would really suggest going down a size what you normally would be which is absolutely crazy. I picked up this dress in ASOS and um, it's just very much me. The back is all pleated. Finally I picked up this smock dress in ASOS and it does look a bit like a tent. A cute little smock dress um, with really cute pretty sleeves. And I believe that was around the £20 mark as well. So I hope you're really, really, really well. I haven't got anything else to report back. Um, my symptoms are, fingers crossed, all out of the window now. And I'm just getting on with pregnancy. Um, actually, about 10 minutes after filming my last video, I felt the first real movement, which was crazy. I had a glass of freezing cold Sunny Delight and the sugar cold rush must have gone straight to the baby and... 
he started moving around massively which is amazing I do feel little kicks and so is my boyfriend which at first I must admit freaked me out massively but now it's the most amazing feeling and I know I shouldn't but I'm always prodding away to be like wake up wake up I'm off to the baby show this weekend to do a little bit more shopping so I'm gonna try and vlog for you there I hope you're all well if you have enjoyed this video please 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 do thumbs up and share subscribe to me if you wish I would be extremely grateful and also follow me over on Twitter and Instagram where I'm sure there'll be a lot more updates now the cat is out of the bag and I have announced that we are having a little baby boy and yeah I hope you're all well guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye